All right, this is the moment you've probably all been waiting for. Let's finally upload something to Firebase Storage. Uh, so we're gonna go upload task, add on success, add on success listener, uh, new on success listener. Uh, and down, then down here, we're gonna do another dot without uh, closing with the semicolon and add on failure listener, new on failure listener. And then we're gonna add one more here. So add on progress listener and then new on progress listener. And then finally we will close this with a semicolon. So these are the three methods that we're gonna to add to our upload task. When it's successful or when it's complete, obviously this is the one that's called. When, if it fails and when it fails, it'll be on failure. And this progress one will constantly be updating as we go. Let's actually do the on progress one first. So I'm gonna create a double, I'm gonna call it progress. And this is gonna equal um, 100 for 100%. I don't need two brackets there. Uh, 100, but it means 100%. I'm going to do a task snapshot, get bytes transferred, and then close that off. And then I want to divide it by task snapshot, get total byte count, and then close that off. And this is going to be read because it's telling me that it shouldn't be, or it should be accessed from the test or within private scope, but we don't care about that. Just ignore that. Not a big deal. And so if, if we do this, it will print out it'll print out a whole bunch of messages so it'll be too much so we just want to add a little bit of a uh, little bit of logic here just so it prevents a little bit of the data from being displayed so what I'm going to do is progress minus 15 is greater than the upload progress so I'm going to say m photo upload progress and I'm going to create a global variable for that and if that's the, tr the, the case then we'll do uh, print out a toast message so uh, Photo upload progress, and then here we can do string dot format, and we need to format our string. So I, w I don't want any decimals; I just want whole numbers. So I do percentage dot point zero, and then f, and that will give us uh, no decimals, and it only show whole numbers. Otherwise, you'll get a whole bunch of decimal numbers. If you want more decimal numbers, you can just add zeros here, and it will give you pre the precision that you want but I don't want any, so I'm just gonna add uh, one there. And then down below here, I want to do M, whoops, I don't have this variable yet, but M photo upload progress equals the progress. And basically I just wanna initialize this up top here. Uh, so let's go variables and do uh, private M photo upload progress. And let's set that equal to zero to start. Whoops, I need to actually call that something. So, uh, or was that a double? Upload pro no, that's gotta be a, let's make it a double. Photo upload progress. And so that way, if progress minus 15 is greater than the current upload progress, then we're gonna print out a toast, and then at the end of it, set the upload progress. So in other words, the toast isn't gonna print out unless the previous progress is 15 higher no, unless the new progress is 15 higher than the previous one. And that's just gonna help kind of filter out. Otherwise, you're just gonna get too many toast messages popping out. This might even be too much, honestly. You might wanna change that to a higher number, but I'd say start with that. And if it's what you like, then that's good. And then we can also print out uh, a log down here saying you know, upload progress, and we can just print out the actual progress and do that. So that's gonna be our um, add on progress listener. Now let's work on our add on success. Well, let's do the failure actually, cause it's gonna be quick. So um, we can just say photo upload failed. And let's also grab our toast message here and we're gonna let the user know that the photo upload also failed. So I'm just gonna copy this, get rid of that, put that in there and get rid of this string business here. So just photo upload failed. Cool, so now let's go up into our add on success listener, which is ideally what should happen every time. And the first thing we're gonna get is a Firebase URL. And this is gonna be the URL that I told you about in storage. So like if I click on one of these photos, the file loca if you click on the file location there, you can see that it has a download URL. So I can copy that by clicking on it. And then if I paste it in my browser, it will take me to that photo. So this is the official photo URL after you upload it to Firebase. And so every time you upload a new photo, they all will get a new upload URL, a, a download URL, I guess is what you call it. 
and that's what I'm getting right here is this this download URL so we go tab snapshot get download URL and let's um, print out a toast saying uh, photo upload whoops upload success and then after that we are going to need to add it to the database so at this point after add on success is called we know that the, the image was successfully uploaded to firebase storage now we need to work on is actually storing the pointers in the database so we need to insert into the photos node and insert into the user photos node like we talked about before so kind of step one here is going to be um, add the new photo to photo node and user photos node this is photos node and then the second step here is going to be navigate navigate to the main feed so the user can see can see their photo because if you recall with Instagram you upload a photo and then immediately it redirects you to the main feed and then your post will show up on the main feed so um, we could just test this to make sure that yeah so I, what we'll do is we'll we'll test this make sure that it's working correctly and then in the next one we're gonna work on the methods for inserting into the photos node and inserting into the user photos node so let's run the app we haven't ran it in a while so hopefully everything works okay I'm guessing there's gonna be a few errors because we haven't run it in a little while so I'm gonna bring over the firebase database let's go over to the clone and go into storage and uh, so the storage isn't real time, just so you know, just uh, like the database is real time, this isn't real time. So every time you make a change, you're gonna have to refresh the browser, but just kind of so you know. So there we go, we have it open. Let's go over to the share screen and I can just click on a photo. I'm gonna go to next. Um, oh, I can't remember if I actually even, did I do that in next activity? Oh yeah, we got everything we need here. Okay, so it should work then. So if I um, just type some, random stuff it doesn't matter because it's not actually gonna do anything with it I hit share it navigated me back to the main feed um, but it looks like it crashed that looked like a crash to me because for one thing it didn't give me any progress update um, yeah yeah I'm not really sure what happened there uh, it looked like it crashed I'm not too sure so let's um, and it's not sometimes when it crashes it, it it crashes and then the app automatically restarts so unfortunately I didn't get to see what the log even said so uh, maybe what I'll do is I'll check this Firebase storage let's see if anything actually loaded up I don't think it did yeah so nothing actually loaded up and the app just crashed so at this point let's I'm just gonna try and upload again and I'm gonna see if I can see the error really quick because I didn't even see anything so let's go here hit share yeah see there was an error but I didn't even get to see it because it reset so sometimes this happens to me and um, usually what I do is I I turn on my screen recorder and I run the app again and then I just that and then I watch the video of the screen recording and I look at the error um, but I can't because I'm recording right now obviously so I can't see the error and without being able to see the error unfortunately there's not really much I can do um, I don't know let's look quick in here oh maybe the image URL is probably null actually let's look here yeah the image URL is null so it's trying to upload nothing so that's why it's crashing it's probably crashing on uh, w you know one of these methods where it's converting into a bitmap okay so we need to get that image URL and to do that we just need to go down into our get image method here and what I'll do is go image URL equals this right here uh, so then we have the image URL and then I'll set the image to the image URL and Hopefully that was the error because we should have the image count. We have the caption uh, I'm, I'm guessing that was the error, but unfortunately we couldn't see but I think it's a pretty good guess because that was null. so Let's take a look All right, so let's go to the share screen and I'm just gonna click on an image go to next and That's cool. I'm just gonna type a description saying cool hit the share button, attempting to upload a new photo, upload progress 19, oh we need to change that to percent 57, 100, cool. So that looks like it worked correctly, photo upload success. Uh, let's change that really quick. So let's go into Firebase methods and go into our uh, progress thingy here. Um, let's add a little percentage here so that will tell us what percentage it's at. 
And now let's check Firebase storage and see if it actually uploaded an image. Okay, cool. So now we have we can see that it actually did create uh, the photos folder, and it created the users folder, and there's the user ID, and there we have our photo three. And it's it's saying photo three. Remember because I added those dummy photos, so the count is working as it should be also, and the size is 1.3 megs. That's pretty good. I mean, for a photo sharing app, I wouldn't really compress that because you want to maintain quality. Like if we look at this in a browser window, full screen, it still looks like it was done with a really crappy camera, um, but it looks pretty good. It'll look way worse if you, if you compress it more. So I would definitely leave that quality. Okay, so we're going to stop the video here, and in the next one, like I said, we're going to work on inserting the photo into the Photos node and into the User Photos node, and then, of course, navigate back to the main feed. So I'll see you guys in the next video.